Hello guys, this is Dabs Nishmel. In this tutorial, we are going to take a look at how to create a dynamic photo gallery in WYSIWYG Web Builder version 14. Now, if you follow this tutorial very well, you can also implement this in version 12 and it should work perfectly well. Now, we'll be using Flexbox as well as Layout Grid. To show you an example of what I mean, I have a sample gallery page here. And then when I select all, it shows me all the images for each and every item here. And when I go ahead and select food, you realize it gives me all content which is showcasing food. And then a footer comes up. Let me just go ahead and select homes. And as you can see, it happens the same way for the homes and then people. When I come back to all, this is going to bring all the images here and then a footer go back down. So we will take a look at how to implement this in WYSIWYG Web Builder version 14. Now this tutorial is inspired by the candy templates on WYSIWYG Web Builder website. If you go to the product section, you realize we have this here. So we have the all, lollipops, we have candy and we have cakes. And as you can see, it works the same way as this works. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this in WYSIWYG Web Builder version 14. So I have my WYSIWYG Web Builder version 14 opened and then I'm going to go to the toolbox. Now the first thing I'm going to bring has to do with the layout grid. So I'll select the layout grid and then I'm going to draw in here and I'm going to go ahead to configure my layout grid. So I'm going to double click on this and then I'm going to get rid of one of the grid that's the columns and then I'll go ahead and increase the pattern to the top which is going to be about 20 and then I'll go ahead and increase the one to the bottom as well which is also going to be about 20 and then I'll go ahead and hit on OK. I'll come back to my toolbox and then let me clear my search here. I'm going to scroll to the jQuery section. So here I am at my jQuery section. What I'm going to select here is the T-Mambo button. So I'm going to select this and then I'm going to draw in here. Let me just go ahead and reduce the size of this a bit. So I'm going to change the size of it to about 100 by 40 pixels. Let me just uh, get this right. And then I'm going to move that in here. And I'm going to bring two more, um, three more, which is going to help me get about four buttons here. So let me just double click on this, change the alignment to center. And then let me just go ahead and select OK. So I'm going to copy this. Let me just right click on it and select copy. Let me just use my keyboard to copy it. So then I'm going to paste here. I'm going to paste it. Um, one more time and then paste it for the last time i'll then reposition it here that's in my layout grid i'll go ahead and reposition this also and then reposition this now I'll double click on this and then i'm going to change the name for it now i'm not going to do the name yet but i'll change the value so the value for the first one is going to be all and then i'll go ahead and hit on ok and change this one to homes i'll continue with this is going to be food and then I'll change the last one to people. So I'll go ahead and hit on OK. I'll come back to configure this. Now let's go ahead and build up our page. So I'm going to continue with the flex box, which I'll come to my toolbox. And then I'm going to search for the flex box. So I'll go ahead and select the flex container. And then I'm going to draw in here. Now I'm going to go ahead to configure my flex container in here to be able to contain my content I'll be using in here. That is the images I'll be using. So I'll start by double clicking on it. Then the flex direction is going to be on row. I'll leave that here. And then the flex wrap is going to be wrap. Now I want a situation whereby when, when there are no images or when there are spaces, the images at the bottom will come up automatically to fill up the spaces we have in there. And then I'm going to change the justify content to center. The alignment, I'm going to change this to flex that. And then align content is also going to be flex that. Now I'm going to leave the height on auto. And then the position is also going to be on floating. And then I'm going to change the max width to about 1024. That's 1024 pixels. And then I'll go ahead and hit on OK. So that is it for my flex container. I'll come back to my toolbox to be able to bring in the images I'll be using in my project. So I'll scroll to the image section and then I'm going to select the image tool and then I'm going to go ahead to select the images I'll be using. So I have categories of images. I have one for food, that is a food folder. I have homes as well as I have people. I'm going to go ahead and select one of the food and then I'll bring this in here. And I'm going to go ahead to change the size of this a bit so that I could have three images, that is three columns in here. 
So I'll change the size of this. I think this is okay. I'll go ahead and then copy and paste that here. Let me just paste that one more time to see if it will fit in. So let me just go ahead and then scale the size a bit to be able to fit in there. So let me just copy the size I have in here. I'm going to paste that here. Let me just go ahead and then do this for this one also. Now I'm going to go ahead to move this into my flex container I have in here. I'm going to move this also and then move this also. Now let me double click on this and then uh, make sure everything is right. So let me just change the background. Okay, I have that to be transparent. Let me just go ahead and hit on OK. Now I like as this is showing here, I can go ahead and increase the sizes of the images, but I think this is fine. So I'm going to go ahead to change this to the various images I have here. So let me just change this to something else. Let me just come here and change this to maybe an image and home section. And then I'm going to change this also to maybe people. Let me just select this. And then let me just change the object fill to cover instead of fill so that I would probably be able to cover up my image or expand the images I have in there. So I'm going to select cover. And then let me just go ahead and increase the height of it a bit to give me the size I want. I'll do the same for this also. And then I'll go ahead and hit an OK. Now I'm going to select these three images and then I'm going to paste it two times. So I'll paste it for the first time, move it into my flex container and then paste it for the last time and move it into my flex container. I'm going to change the images. So I'll double click on this and then I'm going to select something. Let's say this person. I'll go ahead and then change this also to maybe something from the homes um, folder. So I'll select this and then I'll change this to maybe a food. So I'll select maybe this and then I'll go ahead and select that one. Let me change the last set of images I have in here. So I'm going to change this to this. I'm going to double click on this. Then I'm going to change that to a homes um, image. Let me just go ahead and select this. And then I'll finally change this one, which is going to be the uh, people folder. I'll select this. I'll go ahead and select open. So as you can see, I have this beautifully done here. And I'm going to go ahead to bring another layout grid, which is going to serve as my footer. So I'll come to my toolbox and then I'm going to search for layout grid. So I'll select my layout grid and then I'm going to draw in here. I'll go ahead and double click on this and let me get rid of one of the columns I have here. And then I'm going to change the alignment to center. And then I'll increase the padding to the top, which is going to be about 10 pixels. So the bottom is also going to be 10 pixels. And then I'll go ahead and hit on OK. Now I'll come back to my toolbox and then I'm going to grab the test tool. So I'll click on the test tool and then I'll draw in here. I'm going to just um, populate this with just some gibberish text. Let me just choose 10 words, which is OK. I'll increase the size of it. Let me just increase the size of my test to about 14 pixels and go ahead and change the color to let's say white and then move it into my layout grid here. Now let me go ahead and change the background color of my layout grid to a solid color which is going to be let's say black and then I'll go ahead and hit on OK. Let me just change the alignment of this to center so that it stays in the middle of my page. I'm going to go ahead to preview this in the browser so let me just hit on preview to see how that is going to turn out. So as you can see, we have this beautifully done here. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how to configure it. So that's when we click on this, it's going to show us all the images. When we click on homes, it's going to show us only homes. And when we click on people, it's going to show us people as well as food. Let me just go ahead and minimize this and let's take a look at how to do that. First of all, I'm going to get some code I'll be using in here. So I'm just going to grab a code I'll be using in this project. Then I'll come to my toolbox, which I'm going to insert my HTML tag or HTML object here. And then I'm going to double click on it. And then I'm going to paste the code I copied. So let me just bring my HTML properties um, here. And then I'm going to paste the code I copied. So the code is going to be pasted in my HTML object. And then I'm going to change the type. So the type, I would want this to be in the head of my page. So I'm going to select between head tags and I can go ahead and give a name to this particular object. So let's just say image gallery. So I'll go ahead and select OK. So that is my code. Now I'm supposed to apply some kind of properties to my object I have here. That is um, my image object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
right click on them so i'm going to right click on this and then i'll go to object html and let me just move this in here so you can see it so i have this to be my object html i'm going to expand it a bit and then increase the font size so you can see now i'm going to go to the inside tag and then i'm going to type in some code here so i'm going to type class and then i'm going to bring my equal to and then i'm going to bring my um, inverted commerce or quotes as the double one and then i'm going to type filter and then i'm going to add the filter name now because i'm going to have this category belong to the food section i'm going to type food and then i'm going to close my quotes and then i'm going to go ahead and hit on okay before i hit on okay let me just copy this so i can reuse it somewhere else i'll go ahead and hit on okay and then i'm going to right click on this i'll go to my object html i'm going to go to the inside tag i'm going to paste this here but this time around this is going to be for homes instead of food i'll go ahead and hit on okay i'm going to repeat the process for this this is going to be people and then i'll go ahead and hit on okay I'll come back here. This is also going to be for people. So let me just select my object, HTML, come to the inside tag, paste this. This is going to be for people. This is going to be for homes. I'll go ahead and hit on OK. I'll change this to food. So I'll just paste my food here. I'll go ahead and hit on OK. I'll come back here, come to my object HTML. This is going to be for food, so I'll paste this here. Okay, and then I'll come here, which is going to be homes. So I'm going to paste this, and then I'm going to change food to homes. I'll go ahead and hit on OK. I'm finally going to repeat the process for the last one, which is going to be for people. I'll go ahead and hit on OK. Now, what this is going to do is that there is some code here which is going to control how the content are going to display. So as you can see, if I come to this section, I have a section which says um, filter. So this is going to take care of what we've just implemented to our images. So let me just go ahead and hit on OK. I'm not going to do anything to the images I have in here. Let me just come back here and then show you one more thing. Now, if I expand this a bit, you can see there's a comment here which is even give you an instruction on what to do so let's just go ahead and continue with our tutorial so what i'm going to do next is to come to my um, tmambo buttons i brought in here that's the jquery uh, buttons or tmambo buttons i'm going to double click on the first one and then i'm going to type the name so the name is going to be filter for all now the value is going to be all because this particular button is going to display all my images i have in here now the button type is going to be radio button so i'll select this to be radio button and then the initial state since this is going to be the first one it is going to be checked so that if i go on with the next ones those ones are not going to be checked so that is it for this one i'll go ahead and then before i click on okay let me just change the style of it the color of it so that when i hover over it let me just um, preview this in the browser and see if it's going to give me some effect so the color is not really visible so let's just go ahead and change that so I'm going to go ahead and change the color of it. Now let me change this from jQuery UI to um, from true to false so that I can control my um, colors here. So let me just go to hover state. When I hover over it, um, what should be the color? Probably I like this color. This is good. The test probably can be white. Let me just, and then the icon color. Let me just um, go ahead and leave that to, let's just say, maybe this white is going to be okay. And then i scroll down a bit so now activate i'm going to um, leave this on blue i think this is okay let me leave this as it is here and then i'll go ahead and hit on okay i'm going to repeat the process for my other buttons here so i'm going to double click on this now this is going to be for homes this the, this one is going to be filter instead sorry so this is going to be filter the button type is going to be radio button now this is going to be not checked because i uh, that's not what is going to be default selected when i preview my page and i'm going to come to the styles i'm going to change the jquery ui team from true to false and then maybe i'll change the color of this to this red and then i'm going to change the um, i'll change the test to white the color to this white 
and then I'm going to change the um, maybe let's just let me just select um, any of the colors here so in case it's going to be visible I'll go ahead and select OK I'm going to come to this section this is also going to be filter the button type is going to be radio button this is not going to be checked let me just come to my style section and then just change this from true to false and leave the colors on default so i'll go ahead and select ok i'm going to repeat the process for this one also so i'll come to my style section i'm going to change this from true to false and then i'm going to leave it as a test i'll go ahead and hit on ok now there's one more code we need to implement or add to our html object so i'm just going to go ahead and grab that and then i'll paste that in here so when i come back here i'll double click on this and then i'll go to the resources section i'm going to paste the code here which is going to be um, that is a um, dollar symbol that is jquery and then the dollar symbol so i'll go ahead and hit an ok and then hit an ok i think that should be it for our tutorial let's go ahead and preview this in the browser and see how that turns out so i'm going to go ahead to preview this in the browser and as you can see i have this previewed here and i'm going to go ahead to select this and as you can see it shows me all the images in the home section when i go ahead and select food it shows me only the images in the food section it shows me people when i click on people i think there's something wrong here let's just come back and then correct that so let me just type filter here and then come back and preview that in the browser so let me just go straight to people i still seem to have a problem with people let me just um, correct that let me come to this and check whether I have this rightly done. So this is people. Let me double click on this. This is supposed to be people. And this is supposed to be filter. So let me just, uh, this is going to be radio instead. And then um, this is not going to be checked. So I think that was the issue. Let me go ahead and preview this one more time. And um, if I go straight to the people section, as you can see, I have my people show it in here. Now you can do this in version 12 and it is rightly going to work so far as you have the right codes and then you implement it rightly. Now the reason of this tutorial is to help you be able to add more images in case you download the candy template and you want to add more images to your gallery. So that is it for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.